Hi everyone, I'm Audrey Colthurst, the author of Of Fire and Stars, and you all have unlocked the third tier of the pre-order campaign, which means I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, at a conference, making you a video with an extremely MacGyvered setup here that involves a container of cayenne pepper and a stool and a coffee table. So, welcome! I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about Princess Amaranthine. She's the other point of view character besides Princess Denalea in A Fire and Stars, and she was so much fun to write. Probably one of my favorite characters to write. So the first thing to know about Princess Amaranthine is that she goes by Mare. And given that she's a horse trainer, this may seem a little bit silly. And the reason that that came to be or happened was because she spent so much time as a child shirking her duties, spending time around the horses instead, that between that and her rather opinionated nature, everybody just started calling her Mare. Um, mares, in general, are actually known for being opinionated and a little, having a little bit of attitude, so the nickname was very fitting for her. And because she always hated her full name and her the pretentious title and everything, she's like, well, I'm just gonna embrace this silly nickname. So she's always gone by Mare. Uh, Mare was fun to write because she's very independent and very just doesn't really give a crap what anybody thinks. All she wants to do is spend time in the barn and hang out with her horse and work on that kind of stuff instead of the princessly duties that she is supposed to. Uh, it's been a long time since anybody's taken her very seriously, which proves a challenge for her throughout A Fire and Stars because she, at that point, needs to be listened to as she and Denna start to team up to figure out some of what's going on with it in their kingdom as things get more dangerous and everything escalates. The other thing that she kind of has to learn throughout the story is that her fierceness and independence and her ability to kind of go around the system, while those are her strengths, she also needs to figure out when she needs to step back and kind of listen to those around her and maybe team up with somebody and make the best of both their strengths. And that's where she and Ben are very complimentary and it's so much fun to watch them interact. Um, hate to love has always been one of my favorite tropes. So it's not exactly hate, but I would say she and Denna don't like each other very much at first. They're just very, very different people. And it takes them a while to figure out that their differences are actually their strengths and that they complement each other really well and can get a lot more accomplished together than by themselves. Another fun fact about Mare is that she is actually bisexual. It's not really a concept that exists in the world of a fire and star, so she doesn't talk about it much on the page, but you do get to see a little bit that she has had a relationship with a boy before, and then she starts to fall in love with Princess Denalea. So I had a good time writing her because I feel like her sexuality is very organic and just a part of her, and she just falls in love with who she falls in love with, and I think that's what happens with many of us. One of my favorite scenes from a fire and stars that ended up getting cut was a scene where Mare leaves a party and she's frustrated and she's just sick of everybody and tired of having to pretend to be some, something she's not. So she goes down to the pasture, the horse pasture, and goes for a late night swim in the horse pond and she thinks about how she originally got her horse, Flicker, and she wasn't supposed to be able to get him or keep him. He actually was supposed to be culled and sent out with the sales string because he's got this unsightly white sock on one of his front legs and she managed to use her um, ability to wheel and deal to get the stable master to let her keep Flicker and make him a training project for herself. So my relationships with horses have been really important to me throughout my life and that was something that really I enjoyed bringing out in her. Anyway, thank you all so much for pre-ordering. Thank you for watching. I am kind of scared because I think we're going to hit tier four of the pre-order campaign, which means you'll get another funny video on the road, um, hopefully with a slightly less MacGyver setup. But thank you all so much and happy reading and I'll see you again soon. Bye.